This is Diana Block, and this is week 10 of business analysis techniques for the summer 2014 quarter. And uh, so this is our last week of new material starting, uh, well, this is the last week of new material. So next week, you will have a comprehensive set of problems and a comprehensive test that will cover, well, comprehensive from the mid-quarter up to now. Um, that'll be the material that'll be on the uh, final set of problems and the uh, test next week. Remember, next week is a short week. Week 11 ends on Thursday of next week, so just uh, keep that in mind. But as far as this week, week 10, we're looking at chapter 11, and the PowerPoint for that is attached here. And you've got an assignment um, in chapter 11, and you're going to uh, be working some problems related to project management. So here is uh, the first problem, and uh, what you're going to do is finish this network problem and determine all of the various activity times, the finish times, critical path, and the slack times. Um, so you're going to fill in the earliest start, the earliest finish, the latest start, the latest finish in all four of these boxes for each activity. Um, and so as you can see, a couple of them are filled in for you kind of as a check digit. And so you'll have to go through the chapter and follow those instructions. And this is manual, step by step. You're going to manually, you know, determine what is the earliest start, earliest finish, latest start, and latest finish. That information will tell you the finish time um, that you're going to look for, that you're going to provide in Part B. You're going to provide the actual finish time for the project and the critical path. So make sure that you are examining in chapter 11 how to determine the critical path. Then because there are uh, some slack times, there's some activities that are not on the critical path, so you're going to look um, and find out what those slack times are. So all of this is in Chapter 11. Um, it's manual. These are not items that you're going to do any Excel functions or formulas for. You're going to manually work these problems, um, or at least this one, number one. And then on the second problem here, you're going to... Uh, use the formulas that are in chapter 11 to calculate the expected time. Then you'll use the formula to calculate variance for each of these activities. So you'll have your expected time and your variance. Uh, and that's what you're going to enter for part A. You're going to enter the variance and the standard deviation. All those formulas um, are available for you. And so in part B, it tells you what the critical path is for this project. So um, now that you have this critical path information, it's asked you to find the project variance and the project standard deviation. So you're going to use those items on the critical path to determine the variance and standard deviation for the project. Um, and then you're going to calculate the uh, probability that the project will be completed in 35 days. So this is going to involve, I'm just going to give you a heads up, this is going to involve you going to one of the appendix in the back after you complete the calculations um, for the expected probability, then you'll go to the appendix in the back. So it's going to be critical that you read the chapter this week. If you don't, you're not going to know what I'm talking about on here. Um, so it, all of these instructions are on there, but that's just a heads up that you should see some instructions that tell you to refer to <coughs> a table in the back. Then on problem three, we're going to calculate crash costs. We're going to talk about crashing a project. And so again, all in chapter 11, it tells you how to calculate the crash cost per week. And so you're going to fill those in for part A. Then part B tells you what the critical path is and ask you which project should be, which activity, I'm sorry, which activity should be crashed if you're trying to cut some weeks off. So remember, you'll need to know the critical path in order to determine which activity should be crashed. That's going to be critical information for you. Um, so again, this week, there's not a lot of, um, there's not any Excel functions. Um, you might use Excel to calculate these formulas instead of doing them by hand. 
and you can use a cell of course to calculate that instead of doing it by hand but there's no special functions um, in Excel this week um, this project management is kind of a manual process so you have these three problems that you're going to do for the homework assignment and all of the step-by-step -step instructions are actually in the chapter literally step-by-step -step how to work each of those um, you have a discussion this week so keep that in mind as you have time you'll probably want to go ahead and start studying reviewing for the final exam next week since again next week is a short week and uh, you can also use the PowerPoints because the uh, instructions for each of those problems is also laid out clearly in there. And then don't forget you have an instructor as well. If you get stuck somewhere or the instructions aren't clear, send me an email um, so I can uh, put it into different words for you maybe. Um, so didn't want to take up a lot of your time this week because you uh, want to get right on those problems since they are kind of manual and then also have time to study for next week. So I look forward to talking with you in the discussion, and uh, if you have any questions, just send me an email, and have a great week.